you for tuning in to another episode of Dirty Talk One on One, where we talk to the bulls, stories unfold from the young to the old. Nothing's off limits to be told. I'm Essie, aka Tornado Head, because I'm keep your head spinning. What's up? You know, this is Carlucci. You know, I always got that Gucci. You can talk to me about your coochie or whatever Gucci. else it is that you got on your mind. Tonight, we have a lot of stuff to get into. Yes, a lot of stuff to get into. We also have a special guest. Tell the people where you're from. L.A. L.A. Mm-hmm. You should be sitting closer to the circle, Mr. L.A. Sorry. You want to get closer to us, or you want to stay distance? You, I see he likes his little spot here in the corner. Everybody's got their little spot. The view of the stars. The view of the stars. This man is into all kind of astrology. Okay, so you're from? L.A. L.A. Yep, Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles, California, but born in? Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York in the house. Welcome to our show, Dirty Talk 101 Vegas. So, first and foremost... I'm going to talk about what happened to me today. I had the most craziest day, which is why we're kind of just going live and off the top tonight. I got locked out of my house. After I got locked out of my house, I got locked in my house. (laughs) So You're the only person that I know that I can get... Not only locked out, but then also locked in. How, how does that happen? Listen, 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 Linda, listen, listen. No, 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 no. You the one that got locked in and locked out. Let, let me tell you. Tell me, you got some explaining uh, to do, okay? Let me tell you, like... Okay, first, this is the second time it happened to me. <laughs> this happened the other day, and it's only because oh, wow. I was trying to accommodate somebody as accommodating as I am. Being a host is my job and also my personal life, as you can see. But, okay, so I take the key off the keychain so somebody could sit in the car and have air conditioning while I run into the house, grab what I need, and come back. Uh-huh. After that, it was a wrap. Like, my brain never said put that key back on your keychain. So, I was done at that. So, then I call a locksmith. Cool. Locksmith comes. What's the price? You already know. 69 oh, Right? Man. So, I'm like, okay. $60 special. <laughs> whoop, whoop. All right. So, he comes. He opens the door. He has to, like, jiggle it. But I have an old school door. So, it's an old school lock. So, I'm assuming, just like he is probably, old school way, used to open it, jiggle, wiggle, uh, uh, <laughs> get it, right? So y'all over here jiggling Pop. and wiggling, looking like you're breaking into an apartment. Yes, he okay. looked like, he looked like, <laughs> he looks like what you would see on a movie, like somebody trying to break into. Oh no. So it's real cute. Okay, I'm in. Boom, done. The next day, today, I get my door. I left the key and again somehow I mixed up the keys that I have the spare keys so the guy comes and he instantly starts putting pressure pumps on the door <laughs> girl he's like pumping it up what? I'm like oh hell no I'm thinking in my head I'm like oh, okay I'm just let it do this thing and I'm talking to my girlfriend on the phone I'm like yeah man this my, my fuckers over here doing procedures on my door trying to oh, open this door no. oh, so then after that he starts like tapping it he like sticks this thing in and he's like tapping it hella hard and I'm looking like that looks like it's gonna break my doorknob it breaks my doorknob oh, girl no. so now he's trying to convince me that the doorknob is broken <laughs> and this is why he cannot get in my door no motherfucker you over here hitting it too hard Oh no. That's your problem. He was Sammy Sosa. I was like, hold up. He was Sammy Sosa on the door. I was like, the first thing that came to my mind was drumline. Remember, remember when that guy was banging the drum on drumline and Nick Cannon had to come in and be like, so hey, have you had any pussy? So that's what I thought about him. I was like, I was like, this man over here hitting this shit like he ain't had no pussy or he fucks hard as fuck. Maybe like, he just had a horrible day no, taking it out on your door. No. He, he then tells door. me, I am correct. He does like rough That's sex. Just... Yeah, man. Fill what? her up. And I'm like, I already know because you didn't even come in here and try to jiggle it or finesse it. You came in here like, I'm just fucking the shit out of this door. And this is why my doorknob gets broke off. Broke off like some of you motherfuckers who haven't had pussy in a long time. Oh, Y'all no. be trying to break a bitch's back in. Oh, no. Breaking her off. Take it easy. Take it easy, man. 
and nice and, and then it hurts to have sex, right? So, okay, this is my experience. If a motherfucker goes too rough and too hard, it's just not going to be enjoyable. And, like, there's a lot of men that I can tell they have this testosterone in them that they're just going to go buck wild. So, there's, like, certain guys, like, I'm just instantly, like, uh, no. We already know you only want five pumps anyway. Five pumps and out, son. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's that 10 minute. Medically, they said oh, <laughs> a woman's pussy is only supposed to stay wet for eight minutes, right? And the rest of it is just over the top. So you're supposed to actually have sex in 10 minutes. I believe that because really sex was created so we could give But what's the life. point of just doing it to the point where you're like, quote unquote, supposed to I don't do think it. sex like, was supposed I to be enjoyable to as it is. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to take it to the levels we do these days. I don't know. I think it's definitely supposed to be enjoyable. What, what do you think? I think the reason why is otherwise we could be asexual and just procreate on our own. There's no reason for God to have designed us to have to have each other. There's other species that are asexual that can just reproduce on their own. Huh? Yeah, sharks. 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 Dude. And they're sharks. Okay, so um, fun fact. Um, there was a bunch of sharks in a tank in Florida. And um, they were, I believe, hammerhead sharks. And uh, they had been separated from any male sharks for over 20 years. Mm-hmm. Okay, there was no male sharks in the tank. One of the females got pregnant. That what? spawned. Did they call her Mary? in the tank to get pregnant. And the reason why is because there's something inside of a shark. To where it's so ancient mm. that, like, God didn't know when another hammerhead was gonna see another hammerhead. That's what I think. And so he was like, okay, if it's been too long, <laughs> like, you about to get some. If the well runs dry, <laughs> no, that's probably for we're just gonna plant the seed miraculously. Preservation. Yeah, because the the because yeah, they would die the off. Has to go. Yeah, the species has so to. So to be to able continue. to recreate eventually yeah. after so and there's all different kinds hmm. of frogs and salamanders and uh things like that that are asexual that can just procreate on their own so do you think as humans <laughs> we haven't had sex in hella long we just eventually like have some shit pop off like some mary and joseph shit i don't know you know i don't know about that hmm. i was a virgin she <laughs> never had sex how old was she mm. that's crazy she was 16. I think she was lying. Yeah, man. <laughs> that don't seem like enough years. Because I'm thinking, like, you know, I got a I sister know, who's probably kind of still a house. virgin. And she's 30-something. You know, there be some old virgins out here nowadays. Um, they just was raised back in the day. They still sticking to it. Mm-hmm. Power to them. But, um... And then a lot of women are, like, scared of sex. And, or they think it doesn't feel good. Or they don't know. They're like, yeah. <sighs> They're not fucking a but passionate like man. No, They're no, not no, fucking no. a passionate man. They're fucking that guy you who know, came and popped my fucking no, lock tonight. You know I think a lot of women. Pop, I think pop, a lot of women. Pop, that shit ain't gonna work. Like, oh my god! I just felt like I was on an episode of Friday. <laughs> Whatever. You guys remember that? I want to know the, your input. The dad he used to go pop, 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 pop. Yeah. What's your intake, Mister LA, as an older gentleman? I mean, going back to what you were saying earlier, I think sex is made to be like to feel to feel good. To feel on good. On both ends, you know. On both saying? ends. It has to be on both ends. Like it this wouldn't... water feels good. You guys need to be in this fucking water right now. See, you're trying to catch cold. We're pulls right now. Why does it feel good to me? I'm the first person to get cold. Come on. The, you know I'm always usually down to the water. They don't want to get in this water. The water is amazing. No, I know the water is amazing, but I don't know. When you, I go in the morning time. Okay, continue. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I think that was it. I was just saying that it's supposed to feel it's, good. It's on supposed both to ends. feel good on both ends mm-hmm. for how long? Because um, you know, this it, is my thing. Five pumps and get done, son. Right. See, now I I agree with you with the eight minutes. That's enough time. Get it in. I think that is oh. enough time. That's whack. That's some I mean, good if pussy it and can some go good dick. I don't give a fuck if it's good or not. Like, I want to make it last. You tripping? Make it last mm. forever. No. I don't know if we're going to make it last forever, <laughs> but you need to make it last for more than eight minutes. <laughs> okay. That's like three. That's like five plus three. But like that, eight to ten minutes. Eight to ten minutes is like a long time. Um, ten minutes is wow. good. If you think about it, I'm I mean, it's like... Let's say one, one, <laughs> one pump. These are the times when I wish that my, that my husband 
school wouldn't be so shy now she would come up and like sometimes come down to the studio and like record with us or when we do things like this by like poolside come out because i want to know yeah like, we poolside lounging tonight i want to know how come he's different like we like we, we take our time you know <sighs> he's spanish mexican mm-hmm. descent um like a Latin lover, the lovers no, they're just like a little different. <laughs> but I'm just gully. Um, y'all just be on some other shit, okay? We're talking about normal, regular people in the everyday world that just. Okay, I mean, I'm down for a quickie. Y'all on some other shit right minutes. now. They on some lovey dovey shit. You got you. No, we talking we about having our spiritual connection. We be doing the karma and shit. <laughs> okay, okay. You're going to have to teach us about that one of these shows. I but tried to tell you guys about sacred sexuality all You the did time. tell us. I always, I always you tell did you tell us. Have you ever tried sacred sexuality, Mr. Um, I don't even know what to, Mr. what category to put him in. He is a thinker, though. A deep thinker, girl. Mr. L is our philosopher this evening. So what do you think about that? I love it. Yes, philosopher. <laughs> he looks like a philosopher. Give us your words. Give us your thoughts. I got nothing. Give them to (sighs) us now. I got nothing. I love it when we put people on the spot like that and they always say, I got nothing. You know what it is? It's just okay. The question went in and then it left, and I have okay. no idea what the question was. I it's like, all right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm, new question. I have ran into some issues over the week in dating, and okay. I had one friend come and speak on it. And he was just like, you know, you cut from a different cloth than most, so understand that when dealing with men. But okay, here's my thing: if you send a man a sexy picture, does that mean you want to fuck him? Um, that's definitely, mm, um, it's an invite. Saying something. It's an invite. That's, definitely that's an something. invite to it's say invite. I want to fuck you? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Because <laughs> you ain't sending it saying, hey, don't look at Because why, why else are you sending okay. a man a sexy exactly. picture? Because I know you want to wanna, see a sexy picture. Like, so, eyes, because, no, 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 yeah, no, no. Here's huh. my thing. Like, I don't want to fuck you. So, so the next best thing pictures? I can do is just send you a picture. Mm-hmm. And let you do your thing. invite, though. No, I know that. Like, not with me. Um, look at the picture and do what you need to do if that's how you mm-hmm. feel. Type I'm not like giving you no kind of fuel. I'm just too much. I'm prissy like that. You know how I am. Okay, but if it's somebody that's cute and you're looking at him and you're like, okay, he's cute. If he's cute and I'm looking at him, then I'm like, well, what fuck? And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna send you the sexy picture so that you know what the deal is and you know what you're, right. I'm working with. <laughs> right. You know what you're okay, missing over but here. But that's you. You're like a super like go at it type of female. <laughs> I'm a tease. I'm a flirt. So like, but that's what I'm saying. You're I like to then. give people something to think about, not actually thought of in past tense type shit. Because if you if you were the kind of dude that would like think of me in past sense, I wouldn't be interested in you. That's not true. I don't know. Is that true? I don't know. I mean, I think that's personal. I, I think each person is different. Like, I think you can. Kind so of if like I sent you a sexy picture, philosopher, you would think I want to fuck you. Yes. Do you think I want to fuck you now? Possibly. <laughs> you make everybody think that. You make everybody think that. Why do I make everybody think that? Because you're like very, like you know how I am. I'm like I have my bubble. <clears throat> I'm hell like. <laughs> I'm like in my bubble. I'm like, don't touch me. I don't. I am a don't touch that. me and don't no, fuck with me. Everybody who sees so me nice and touchy feely. Uh-uh, uh-uh, yes, uh-uh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Mm-hmm. She's always, a lie. You always hug and kiss as soon as you see somebody that you know. Okay, you because they know me. You know me. Mm-hmm. Hey. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I always it's hug different. my you're my different. guests. You're like, you're like in the bubble. You always be in my bubble. <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> I don't know what bubble she's speaking of, people. But <laughs> yeah, people, you know what bubble. I'm with most, about. when most people see me the from bubble. a distance. <laughs> bubble the radius yes if i could put my arm out there's something my around bubble, me definitely that's like my bubble this is the bubble right don't here. cross the bubble line i get it but yeah, no the bubble you'd be like you'll walk up to somebody and just lock arms with them and be like hey how's your day doing that's because I'm vibing on them. I can feel frequencies the minute <laughs> I pass somebody it's not a bad thing because she you talking about women I do that with women it don't it's 
not even all the time men. So like, that's rarely men. When you guy friends, you do the same thing. Mm mm. Yeah. I don't think so, yeah. but I do say I hello can see and would think give. That, that might be misleading because mm. guys are like. Well, guys, guys around me don't though. Take anything as a signal. True. Mm. Why? Mm. That's not my fault. Like, yeah. everything is not a I mean, signal. If you don't send a naked so I don't even want to smile. I don't send no naked photos I'm now. I'm just saying. Like, if you I'm know. just saying. I ain't sending no naked photos. <laughs> not I that. Not naked. Yeah. No. Like I just, I just said I was a tease. So you know I'm not sending no naked photos. So what's your photo of a tease? What if I took a picture angled like this at my boobies. A titty pic? Yes. Uh, that's not like an invite. Like, hey, I want to fuck you. It's just like you like what you see. I'm just not gonna send pictures. Do you like what to you see? I'm not interested in. True. Now I agree with that. Now I thought you uh, was talking about in the thong, uh, and then here's the butt. Hell too. no. See now, if that picture goes out, yeah, that's the invite. But if you're just doing the little, I even a thong now. What the fuck? I mean, a selfie's a selfie, but we're not talking yeah. about a selfie. You're talking. Yeah. You said a sexy pic. Yes, you did. Yeah. So like a lingerie, I like lingerie, you know. Yeah, bitch, if you send a picture of yourself and some lingerie to a man, That's that is a definite, I want to fuck. Yeah. Yeah? Back to the invite, yeah. No, that's more than an invite. In lingerie. Okay, well, let me apologize down. now yeah. for all those that got the misconception. <laughs> 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 that I wanted to fuck you. <laughs> what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> is that you're handsome <laughs> and um yeah have at it with the picture i mean <laughs> that's the best i could do for you homie <laughs> Oy, i mean because if i'm gonna fuck you i'm not sending you pictures you're gonna be at my house you're gonna see the real deal you're gonna see the, the raw and cut like what the fuck am i sending a picture for it's fun. no <laughs> What's funny is your ass coming over here and seeing me in the goddamn lingerie with my ass over. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, come do it. I'm not fucking sending a picture. Pictures for the motherfuckers. You just kind of want to. Sorry to say, but you know, just kind of like. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Be on your merry way. What? <laughs> I hope this holds you till next you're time. I guess you're generous. You, but okay. Sweet. Okay, mind you though. I'll take a picture. Uh, listen. If you want. I have men <laughs> that will give me money for pictures. So I know the power of pictures. So then you completely... What, what is the point of this question? Then you completely understand... It doesn't mean I want to fuck you. If somebody can pay me for a picture... Okay, if that was true, they would And have get had, off on they it. They would be successful for so long before the... Yeah, I'm, I'm like their inside playboy. a thousand words. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, you're not fucking no playboy, girl. Uh, that's what the fantasy is. Exactly. Keep the fantasy alive. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Don't kill the fantasy. Oh, no. Don't try to make it reality. Because <laughs> it's right. not going down. No, I think there's social norms. that That's outside of social mm, norms. Mm, I would be mm, confused mm. if I was a guy. Because wait a minute. Hold up. What about the bitches in- that are on Facebook fucking with their ass out? All they that shit. Though. Um, okay, but they still know you're not gonna no, fuck them. No, but you know they're not, not gonna, f- you're not gonna fuck them. But you don't know them. Yeah, oh, exactly. But they got their ass out, titties yeah, out, whatever the fuck. Like all the girls on Instagram and Facebook is just like, they're just nice to look at. I'm telling you, because you know. Okay, what that's what I'm aiming for. Just nice to look at. Like, boop. Stay over there in your lane. But you can't do that when you know someone personally. I don't know nobody personally like that, I mean. I mean, like, if I've ever met you face-to-face, I'm never going to send you a picture of me in lingerie. And <laughs> never. It's never happening unless I accidentally was trying to send it to Alex. Okay, Somehow, say no more. My name was under Al, and, like, I fucked up and sent it to y'all. Say ass, no more. And like, ah! like, freaked out. Okay, this is a true story. True My story. My sent me a picture a long time ago. Right. Um, of him in the shower doing his thing, okay? And, like, I got all excited. And it was when, do you remember, Tango had came out. It was, like... The lizard thing? No. It's, like, you know how Marco Polo is now? That, like, there was an app called Tango yes. back what in the day. What was the one where everybody could see and you around the world? It was so much fun. So, so I, so I started on Tango, right? <sighs> and I had an employee. And the employee had logged in tango and like added me or whatever 
And so he texted me like, hey boss, good morning. And like I tried to text him back good morning, but I didn't know how the app worked. And the picture pulled up and the it sent right away. Ooh. Right. Like that's how the app works. Like if you pull the picture up, it sent. It goes, yeah. And so he just got a face full of Alex. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my First god! First thing in the morning. Oh my god! And I had to be like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." I oh my like, god! You know, can we please keep this between me and you? It's like <sighs> HR alert, HR alert. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> You're a horrible boss. <laughs> oh shit! So yeah, that actually happened to me. I'd be so embarrassed. I was super embarrassed. Your ass be doing some shit That's like that though. We shouldn't though. have been sending each other nasty pictures, but you know we're freaky. <laughs> Why would you say you don't feel like they should send each other? I mean, that's cute. I think that's. <laughs> I don't know. See now, if I, I do actually send like people that I know I'm gonna fuck some pictures. So maybe I can see where the two is getting crossed. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. No more of that. Yeah, I apologize. I need a vow. <laughs> No more freaky pictures being sent from me. You can say thank you to all the motherfuckers who assumed I wanted to fuck them. And this is now why none of you motherfuckers is getting pictures. From now no more. The only deliberate sex I'm going to have a disclaimer on it. Uh, this picture does not mean I want to fuck you. <laughs> With an asterisk at the bottom. Oh, God, I love it. <laughs> okay, so the other topic we were supposed to talk about tonight... You know what? We were supposed to have two doctors on here, and I'm kind of upset we didn't get them because I had so many questions ready for them, especially about when it comes to squirting. Have you ever squirted, ever? No, I think that that's just like <sighs> porno shit. That's or like what I wanted to find pee. out, but no. Because people say that, oh, I met <clears throat> this girl and she did this, but I think they're lying. Or I think that if it did happen, it made Look. me pee. <laughs> what? You made a girl squirt? Yeah. What? Yeah. She, um, yeah, let's hear about this. Okay, so I guess like the first time it comes out, wow, while in the session, it's kind of pee. It's pee. It's it pee. is pee, see? But then the next six, seven times, it's just fluid. It's just fluid. Because you don't, you don't have any pee left. Yeah, so now it's just fluid. Oh, boy. Yeah. So it's uh it's I think it's just a combination I of I don't know if I can handle that without screaming my ass off in the house. It's dope. Does she scream like crazy? No, she but she was it would spray in her face all the time. Oh <laughs> 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 I'm about yeah. to throw up. I'm about to gag. Oh lord. I mean I think that's good. She like, tasted taste her, her own, own cum? Medicine. Yeah. Uh, and you have to pull it out. Oh, Oh no! Yeah. Oh no! So you have to pull it out. Pull what out? You have to pull your shit out, and then they. Oh, spoke. you did it with your dick? Yeah. Well, most people do it with their fingers or tongue. The guy was oh. telling me he would eat my pussy till he made me squirt. I mean, I it was I it was the D that did it. Oh my God! Does yeah. yours curve to the left or the right? You know what? It's like a banana. <laughs> <laughs> It curves down. It curves down. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, that's just a whole nother pocket area. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> he said it curves down, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe it was like her I got that like lean right down right dick. Where to go? <laughs> and, oh God. And, and, <clears throat> Can I see it? In the missionary position. Can I see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right now? Not right now. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> later. We'll save that for later so yeah. I can testify if it's a dip down dick. Yeah, it's a dip down. It's like uh <laughs> like Gonzo's nose. Gonzo. There oh, you go. <laughs> you Is asked, that a good you example? Asked, you asked oh boy. And now you have it. Gonzo. Yeah. Lord have mercy. <laughs> well, I'm just thinking of all the areas you could go with that. So, sometimes do you, like, flip around on a bit so it can go up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do, like, the windmill shit? Bitch, I'm about to hit all sides. <laughs> oh, I'm going to call that some tornado dick shit. <laughs> spinner. Oh, the spinner dick. <laughs> I'm going to spin it on you, bitch, real quick. I'm going to hit all oh. angles and all sides. Okay. Oh, my. 
So yeah, I thought it was peef this whole time. So so this guy has like been asking to make me squirt. I'm like, dude, no, no, because hmm. I don't even want that pressure. It's a lot of pressure, right, on your pussy on a certain spot. Because I can imagine, because I've had head work to the point where I felt like I was gonna pee, but I knew I wasn't gonna pee. I knew it was like gonna become, Great. but it it was like to the point where it was like on the tip and. My body won't relax enough for me to even get to that level. You know what I mean? Mm. Not you, because I know. No, I know, like, I don't know. We definitely don't have a problem with (laughs) any, you know, it's not, there's nothing dry going on. There's no friction. (laughs) But there's something that can make you squirt, though. Mm. So apparently all women can do it, right? You can make any woman squirt or just her. That, that, that was the only person that I've ever... Oh. Yeah. Did you do anything different? But you're basically um, saying it's not safe. Some people can do it. Yeah, she could She could definitely do it. Because I, I, I could what feel the pressure. What if she pressure. was just, like, peeing on I, him? No, because yeah. you know the difference between pee and the liquid, yeah. clear liquid. It's t- completely different. Yeah. It's like water cum. Yep. Because like I said, the first, the first squirt... Because I've like seen it, pee. and it's very clear... I mean that I mean, that happens when you're. Is that your sex, reservoir but that's inside not- <laughs> the reservoir inside your body? <laughs> <laughs> the unfiltered <laughs> and the filtered. I don't know. I, don't, well, I guess they're, they're damn. recycled juices. I don't know. <laughs> we got a reservoir in us, but just <laughs> in the reservoir in your pussy is about to come. Let the well out. <laughs> Let the well run dry. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a moment there of just thinking about this shit. Like, damn, that's some hot ass shit. You just made the reservoir go dry. Oh, no. Oh, boy. We definitely in the desert now. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Good to that's know. Bad. Okay, so... Next Monday, I also have a, um, what's a drag. She's so she's, she just got her, he got her boobs done. Okay. So that she now. Well, I think, um, a lot of times, I don't know. I guess it's a personal preference, but I know a lot of my friends that are in drag, like they prefer to be she. Okay. She got a 40 pronouns. 48 double D done. Oh, shoot. I know. I was like, you're going to be as big as me. That's no joke. <laughs> I mean, can you, I mean, not even a C. I would have went with a 36 C. But you That's know like what? perfect. I think people who like get their boobs done, they always want to have like a D or bigger because that's the whole point. Like they think they need these like huge boobs like. I miss having little boobs to like wear little shirts. Me and, like, too. Not to wear a bra. Me like, too. Was, like, when I was like a B. Yeah. B I was like, a perfect. C. I was perfect. But you're shorter than me. So C, that would make the difference. But a C? Perfect. When I got double D's, I was like, uh, when I got triple D's, I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? People used to ask me, like, like just off top when I'd walk by, they'd be like, oh my God, how big are those? I'd be like, wow, really? Are they that big? But I was a triple D. I'm a double D now. Those are some, those are some but your babies, boobies are biggie too. But you know my boobs are because they're like little big. <laughs> a little big. She's got these big plumpy <laughs> boobies. Anyway, so so it's just amazing how how much they really want boobs. That's the biggest fascination in the gay world and transgender world and drag world well i mean i guess it's on which side you're going to. everybody loves movies. i know a person uh, how about we'll call her uh, larry for all intents and purposes and, uh, okay and larry she used to be linda and, and linda is now larry <gasps> for real yeah so what she get her boobs chopped off boobs Chopped off oh and Damn. and uh, oh, change the any to the Audi. Oh, whoa. Okay, let me think about that. She went all in. Audi. So, so they literally created a dick. She let her coochie fall out. Yeah. Oh, is that really what's inside on the other <laughs> no, side? Is a dick? Even it had it. <laughs> so, you mean day, you guys I, been fucking a dick this whole time? Goes, well, she goes. That's she what you went in there for. Said, 
She said that men had their coochie fall out. She was like, if you think about it, you know, like the ovaries are like the balls. And like the The ovaries are definitely not the balls. Yeah, they they are. They hold the they're the sack. They hold the egg. That's where the egg is held? In your fucking lips? In your ovaries. Oh in your ovaries, I'm tripping. Okay, yes. <laughs> I was thinking lips on your pussy. I was like, where that's Those supposed are your to labia. <laughs> that's supposed to be our balls for real? No. <laughs> Whoa. Your that's far canal, stretched. Look at check it out. In your vaginal canal, it goes in, but if you popped it out, you made it go the other way. Yeah, I'm a little too tipsy to be trying to picture all this right now. <laughs> I'm, having a, I'm having a hard time, but I thought you know like there's like some skin up in there and it just like flops out well yeah that's basically what they do but a dick is a muscle so they can't fucking do that hey can you make your dick twerk yes you can Mm -hmm. you knew exactly what I was talking about well it's already like flexed like an arm so it's like it's flexed like an arm yeah so I can oh my god What do you think the average size dick is? You'll be surprised when I give you the answer. The real average size uh, is four and a half inches. inches. Six inches, seven four and inches. Half. That's pretty bad. Uh, that's on it the is statistics. Statistic wise, it is seven inches. No. Is average, I right? Know. I have the picture. No. Hush. I have the picture. That's an. Um, that's in South America. No, I think you said five. It's five inches, it's, isn't it? It's four and a half to five inches. We're going to find out right now. No, yeah. Uh, I didn't even know this. No, we, we have a chart. There's a dick chart. I have a dick chart, yes. If you guys want to see the dick chart, you can go to Dirty Talk 101 on Facebook. And you can look at the dick chart. <laughs> and I guarantee you, let's scroll through. For those that want to know what we're listening to in the background, it is no other than Chill Hop Instrumental. Uh, what type of girl do you like? A, Pussy A, or Pussy B? One's got no pussy lips, and it looks like roast beef, and the other one looks like a fucking sandwich if you turn it to the side. A peach. So you like that one? Yeah. Ha! Okay. Okay, here it is. Oh, it was five inches. My bad. Five inches. You were close. You said four. Yeah. And a half. You said six. You said six. Six is nice. Seven is big. But they forgot to factor in width. Width makes a huge difference as well. Would you say you have a a, a wide one or <laughs> are you a girthy gunbreak? Well, here's the thing. It's it's okay. So it's long, right? Long and, and strong. About to get and the friction it on. Moves its girth towards the base. It's a man eater. It's a man eater. An eater. <laughs> an ant eater. I don't understand. You know how an ant eater's face is like fat and then little. Yeah. Think about an ant eater's face. You really? Oh. So. When you yep. are yep. dating, do you prefer to have small women? Because I heard small women can take the dick better. Or do you prefer to have like a plus size woman because she's going to suck your dick the best? Or what? What do you... you know what? Honestly, it don't even matter. It's like... So a girl that can't take your dick, you're, you're perfectly fine with that. That can't take it? Yes. That's going to be like, oh, it's too deep. You're still going to be like, cool with that? You said it doesn't matter. I mean, well, I too think, big, I don't think though. I've, that would have to be, like... I've, girl, I have pictures of too big yeah. in my phone. Sent to me from other chicks, by the way. Because <laughs> they know better not to send them fucking nasty-ass pictures to me. Okay, anyway, what? I forgot what I was going to say. Um, About chicks and their pussies and taking your okay, so dick here's the thing. that leans it, down. If you have a big dick or a medium or a small dick, you know, it's just got you got to know how to use it. That's it. That's it. So if it's, he said it's not about the size of the boat. It's about the smoke. Uh, no, know. that's I not do. true because do, some small do. dick, you can't even feel the shit. You can't even feel the motion in the ocean. Okay, you know what I'm it can't be like a dinghy. It has to be a boat. A dinghy. <laughs> Mushroom tips. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, yes. you know, a big dick. 
you have to know how to use it for the whoever, whoever you're fucking with enjoys it. Also, you have to know like not to go hella deep and yeah. not to do certain things. Like, I agree. I, I, I you have to know. But when they you always want to go all the way to the back. I mean, golly. And then they're overshooting it, and it's like you, know, you got to overshooting it. You have to know how to use what with you know your 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 dick. That's it. How many kids you got? Five. No. She's <laughs> on four and a half. Uh, one. Uh, one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You sound, you sound like somebody that have hella kids talking like that. You just gotta know how to put the dick in just enough <laughs> and to extract it just in time. Turn it. Yeah, man. Sounds like a dead egg. And then it squirts. God damn, where the fuck this dick come from? <laughs> Magic land? Where the fuck? I've I've had some pretty lousy experiences and sex and oh, no. I feel like my pussy is depressed. That's horrible. Oh. Yeah. So I don't I'm not a sexual person. I don't like to have sex, even though everybody thinks I do. I do not enjoy it that much. It has to be somebody that I'm digging in. This is why I don't fuck motherfuckers. And they don't understand it. They're just like, why can't you just fuck me? And I'm like, because I don't know you even as a person. Like, my vibrations are not even on the same level as you. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I don't even need to know you. Like, I don't, like, you're not a loss to me to not. I mean, I don't know. I don't know about (sighs) you, but I think... Like, I have two different modes. I and have, they can be attractive. Like, when I was just single, I had my, my mode thing. where I was, like, single, and I wasn't trying to be locked down. I was just trying to be single. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. And that's totally different than when you're single and, like, ready to be in a relationship. I think you'll, like, date differently. You'll, like, do different things to where it's, like... If you're single and, like, you want to be single, okay. you won't necessarily care about, like, if you have... A one night stand or whatever, because it's like you don't care. Who who cares? It's like just be safe, wrap that shit up, <laughs> you know, and like keep it pushing. And then you know that's totally different than if you like the guy and like you know you want to hang out with him again. And that's that's a totally different situation. So I think there's different phases to it. Yeah. Even when you're even when you do get into a serious relationship and like you've been together for forever, I think that there's like different phases to it. Yeah, but when you want to have sex with them, like, do you know off tops? Like, are you like, "Mm, yeah, I'm fucking you tonight? Because some females are like that, but I'm not. Like, it may take me a minute. No, I definitely know. I definitely know if you're getting it or not. Okay, because you know me. I From can... the gate, I know whether or not. Like, I'm not even going to entertain it. Like, I'm, I'm not the type of person, like I said, I'm not going to even entertain it if I wasn't going to be willing hmm. to do it. Like... Really? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Why am because I so... Because if I don't find you physically or, like, sexually attractive, then, like, I'm not going to be attracted to... Like, it doesn't matter how much I'm attracted to you in another way. We're just going to be friends. See? That's where I defer. Because... We're just going to be friends. Like, I'm not going to have sex with you if I just, like, want to be your friend. I'm not like that. I could be around you for a minute and, like, the whole time just be peeping your vibrations and how you react to me and... The shit you get pissed off at me for, and then, like, I'll just try to, you know, see, fill you out. And then, if I'm like, but if we're not in a relationship, if we're just in a friendship, a guy is gonna be different to you if he thinks that we're in a friendship or if uh-huh. he thinks that we're pursuing a relationship. Exactly. No. So you have to see make raw... those intentions clear from the nope. beginning. I want to see the raw, uncut. You ain't seeing that shit coming. Cause how you are to me as a friend is how you gonna be to me as a man. No. Yes. Or no. better. For example, no. My friend Scotty. My friend Scotty is not ever come at me. No who, names. God damn it. Go ahead. Who knows who Scotty is? My Scotty friend, Pippen. Scotty Pippen. He never. He he never has come at me like that. He's not gonna be like, oh, like let me get at you at any point because he knows like that's not where I'm at with him. Mm-hmm. So I made that. No, you made you it clear have... that he wasn't going to be on that level with you. I didn't say I make it clear. I never say I'm not going to fuck with you. You don't know if I'm going to fuck with you or not. But that's what I'm saying. You know me from the gate. If we're going to be friends, we're going to be not friends. Not me. If we're not, if we're going to be something you else, don't know. we're going to be something else. You don't know with me. I don't know. That's tricky. 
Why is it tricky? I just want to fucking tricky. get to know you. Period. I don't know. Because I think I think you like leave yourself open. Men do it all the time. So, I'm just saying you might leave yourself open to misinterpretation. Like, for instance, motherfucker saying I want to fuck them when no, I go. No, 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 opposite. What if a guy did think like you were interested in him? And then you throw off friend vibes, and then he's like, "Oh, she's not into me," so he starts talking to somebody else because you're not into him. Um, you're not interested in him. You're not. You're not. You're not kicking out the vibes of like, "Yes, I want to date." Yes, I want you to take me to dinner. Yeah, I do give vibes that I, that I would want you around me. I just don't tell you that that's but I what I want. I want you around me is different than like come over and smoke a blunt, and then no, I kick not, you out. It's exactly, different. that's different than come over and then like. Um, we're gonna take your car and we're gonna go to dinner and then we're gonna go to a movie. No, no. Yes, because then that's like kicking it. That's like in. That's like we're dating. Like that's like we're going out doing shit together. Like, no, intentionally. Listen, if you just come over to my house and smoke a blunt and you think that we're dating, you're stupid. <laughs> I've had motherfuckers come over my house. Literally, I may cook a fucking meal with them. I may sit next to them, have my leg draped across them, and never fuck them. For what purpose? Enjoying each other's company. I don't know. If I'm going to enjoy your company, I'm just going to enjoy your company. I don't, wouldn't want to have that innuendo or any cross boundaries or any confusion. On well, don't side. limit yourself, darling. No, because that's, that that would not be comfortable for me. I'm not going what about to you? put my arm around you or be in your personal space if I am not considering you as like a romantic interest. If we're just homies... Yeah, man. We sit on the same couch together. That's no, because I realize my leg on you. I'm not gonna be letting you touch my <laughs> leg. Like you keep your fucking hands to yourself, <laughs> and I'll keep my hands to myself. I realize, and we'll play this video game no. and smoke this blunt and be cool. And that's how I treat my friends. No. Yeah. Anything else is. Uh-uh. You are a fucking lie. That's the truth. I wouldn't do that to, to a guy friend. I'm not gonna be all on a guy. Like what about that. a girl? My girlfriend. Um, no. Okay, my girlfriends. I'm gonna touch your boobs. I'm gonna smack your ass. I'm gonna lick your I'm pussy. I'm gonna put my fucking boobs in your face. Exactly. I'm going to put champagne all over. You. I'm gonna do all kinds of inappropriate shit because you're a girl, and like, if you're my girl, if you're the kind of girl that's gonna hang out with me, you're gonna be cool with that shit. Otherwise, these are shit rocks because you whack. My ninjas. That's how my ninjas are. <laughs> But okay, but that's with a girl. That's like, and, and, and it's still, I wouldn't be doing anything sexual though. I wouldn't I be doing mean, anything sexual either. I touch your boobs all the time. Is it sexual? No. Is there anything sexual? A little bit. <laughs> she makes me uncomfortable when she touches my boobs. <laughs> I'd be like, this bitch is crazy. I've, and I, I smack my friends. God damn it! Like, I Get do off all my of boobs, that you because fucking we're bitch. girlfriends, and like, I just feel like we have the same body. You're parts. not it's like, sucking them. Just like, okay, just like guys slap each other's ass on football. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They, basketball, be like good game. Basketball, football, whatever. They'll football, slap no. Each ass. They got tight, tight pants. They don't do that in football. <laughs> I've seen them do that. A they bump. Times. And they do their little handshakes and their dance. They do all kinds of fucking little things. No, they shit. slap you in the foot. In, in the they football. slap you in the butt? Mm-hmm. Oh. They need to let me take care of that job. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, it's different. Like, if that's your bro, and, like, you're with this dude every day in the locker room, and you just won a game, and it's like, hell yeah, smack your ass. You know what no, I mean? No, I don't say smack your ass. You don't say it, you just do it. Yeah, I wouldn't think to do it either. <laughs> I smack your ass when we get off of work. Yeah, you get on my nerves with the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that's like a, a form of endearment in no. terms of um, same sex friend because you have. If anything, I'm gonna like rub your ass. Have, but like with a man, if I'm straight, I'm straight. So it's like it, it would be different if I was a lesbian. I probably wouldn't do that. If I was a lesbian, I no, you would, would do that because I've seen them lesbians. They fucking is the craziest. No, no, because if, they'll uh, grope you. If I'm not feeling you like that, though, I'm not gonna do that to you. Lesbians grope you. I don't know. That's just me. If I was a lesbian and I didn't, if I was trying to, you know, get to be my to girl, I might have to do that. But nah. Mm. Uh, I, like if you're my friend, there's certain lines that I'm not just not gonna cross in terms of opposite sex. Am I, am so if I, I was chilling tripping? with you, you would think LA? I want to fuck you? No. It Not chilling. Be, it would have to be. You didn't just say chilling. You said right. putting your leg be. over somebody. If I was chilling with you like I'm chilling with you now as we talk and say I even do like this. Then I'd be like, when the, if the touching starts and then it's, you know, 
then I'll start thinking like, okay. This, this would you. make you think I want you. That's no. definitely in your personal Be honest. Case. Right now, no. This is, If you was rubbing me and then got Oh, yeah, closer, I wouldn't be fucking doing all I'm that. Just saying, if but I do. Doing, but my homeboys do this with me. me. They'll lean on me like this and we are not fucking. I wouldn't mistake in this and be like, oh, she wants to smash. I wouldn't do that. I'd be like, we're She chilling. likes me. We're chilling. Yeah. 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 Mm, I think he's being overly modest. I don't even believe him right now. And like, okay, okay, as like as a girl that you uh, don't he's know, older. If I just he's walked up older. to you and, and just started leaning on you like that, wouldn't you be like, okay, like yeah, this girl likes me. This girl wants my attention. Right, but I, I overthink stuff, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that what she was just doing was going to lead to anything else. It, like I said, I. My mind is like, okay, this is cool, but if she starts rubbing me, then I'll know. If, you know. I have, so I have to snacks. rub you. Yes, but I mean, your legs are like the length of my arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What the <laughs> fuck, dude? It's okay. I love it. I love short man. <laughs> Shouts out to short man. How short are you? I'm five seven. Five seven. How tall am I? Six even. Six even. Ooh. How tall are you? I'm five four. You already know I'm a mini. <laughs> <laughs> Fine size fun. <laughs> oh shit, we're losing shit here. Don't lose shit. Help me out, y'all. Don't lose the phone. Don't lose. So, the would you ever date a tall woman? Yeah. What's the tallest woman you ever dated? Okay, so my basically my first girlfriend or whatever. When I was 16, 17, she was 5'10", maybe 5'11". Oh, yeah? I was, you know, I ain't no taller than I am now. So, I was yeah. short. I didn't care. But she kind of damaged my shit because she was like, when we're in public, walk behind me. Because it looks stupid if we walk next to each other. Mm-hmm. What? That's what she said. I understand where she's saying, <laughs> but still, I would walk next to my man. Right, and so I actually, this is my, she took my virginity, this is, you know, whatever. Aww. So I'm walking behind her thinking, yeah, whatever, it does look stupid. But then, of course, now I'm like, that's fucked up. Yeah. And so that right there, I'm like, damn, I'll date a seven footer, but would she look at me like that, walk behind me? No. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I would actually walk behind you. That's how I kind of walk with short men. I walk behind them and I, and I let them lead the way like this. Mm-hmm. So that people know that, like, yeah, we're together, and he Come still on. leads. You're talking about me being, like, seven feet in front of her. Yeah, no, that's embarrassing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch like, I bye. Yeah. But I can say, I did date a guy. He yeah, was a bitch bye. How tall, how tall are you? 5'7". Um, 5'7". Five, seven. Five, seven. Okay, and you said you're 5'4". I probably dated then a 5'2". He was super short. And it was embarrassing, I must say. He was so handsome, but it was just so embarrassing to be with such a short guy. I remember walking with him in Old Sacramento, because that's where I'm from. Shuts out! And um, these people started laughing at us when we came around the corner. I was just <laughs> like, they were like literally laughing, like, <laughs> like, you see this shit? And I was just so embarrassed. I was like, yeah. And I broke up with him because Aww, of it. Oh, that sucks. You shouldn't let people steal your shit. Oh, my God. He him. was so small, though. Like, like pint size small. I know. I feel pretty bad about it. But you know what? Okay, as being a six foot tall person, woman, uh-huh. I can tell you I am not turned on my super tall man. Oh, really? No. It's not a turn on for me. I do not like my men tall as fuck. You either have to be the same height as me, maybe a little taller, barely a little taller. You'd be about 6'3". That's the tallest I really care for. But uh, I really don't really want a tall guy. I'm only 5'4", and, like, usually I won't, like, my, I'm attracted to guys that are, like, six foot taller, taller. Like, my, my first boyfriend was six seven and a half. I mm-hmm. came up to his belly button. Oh my god, no. See? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> short guys, I mean, tall guys like short women, though. That's their thing, and that's why he was asking me. He's like, you, he was like, y'all, sorry. So, sure, I was like, man, I'm so used to being around short guys because 
they always are attracted to me and they're the ones that are just like willing to be like fuck it I don't give a fuck <laughs> no fucks given and they're about their shit I know the short men are about their shit tall men like to fuck around and play and have you chase their ass and cause they can <sighs> it's kind of annoying and I I don't have time for that shit like either you know what you want or you don't the early yeah, I gotta go so yeah mm, I'll definitely agree with you on that I that's just, my deal but I think it's because you know, Uh-oh. just like me, I think like, you know how I am. I'm like a little ferocious because I'm little. I got everything, to, but I have to like claw my way through it. You always get what you want. Yeah, because I, cause I make it happen. I got another uh-huh. Napo- Napoleon complex. <laughs> She's I don't give a fuck giving type shit. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. So I think short people have Napoleon complex. <laughs> We got this, like, need to take over the world because we're little. <laughs> How do you feel about today's dating society? Like, it's in the dating quick. world, it's too quick? Way too quick. Why do you say it's too quick? Well, okay, so I'm about to just go ahead and, you know, age myself. But back in the days. Back in the days <laughs> when I'm young, I'm not a kid anymore. But <laughs> okay. 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 Back in the days, <laughs> you would have to go out of the house down the street to the bar to the party to meet somebody one person or whatever it took time right i feel that you're right now you'd see them first right "Hmm, left right swipe left swipe right (sighs) swipe you're out of my life block you'll never call (laughs) me again (laughs) i'm queen of block say one wrong thing blocks I should have had this phone a long time ago. I got the block option. Well, fuck I Android. Remember back in the day when you had your house line and you had to like figure out what the button was and it was like star six seven. Star, oh my god. Eight, seven, What's star, the code? Eight, nine. You were like, what the fuck is this? How do Hold I up. This person? But remember the old one. Tell us about that shit because she she was doing some things back in the day online. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Remember the dating lines back in the day? Mm-hmm. You remember party lines? Yep. Okay. Party Where'd lines. Like six people talking yeah. at the same time. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like sometimes mostly it would be guys talking shit to each other and like yeah. getting into phones and fight phones. You know, phones. <laughs> the phone would just be like, fuck you, no, fuck you. But so yeah. it's just like, it was like how Facebook is now, but like over the phone. So For all them youngsters that don't know, we had we yeah. had dating chat lines struggle the struggle was for real and you had to give your whole profile up off top when no just i'm here looking for fun what skirt <laughs> well it was like you had to like dial into the call line or whatever and then it would like say you your profile to to the um like main board or whatever like you would just like join people on the thing you'd be like hey what's up what's up and like you would try to get attention anyways so me and my cousin we got real good at this to the point where like we started figuring out that like people would like send you stuff like we didn't know what we were doing <laughs> she was kids. on game <laughs> you see i was like oh um it was a whole nother level for we'd them be yeah. like, we'd be like oh yeah yeah like some they some were the chat line scammers uh, they'd, be, they'd be like oh give us your um give us your beeper number and so you know then you could call them from the block yeah. number yeah. On the okay, so <laughs> so then we would do that, and we would be like, "Oh yeah, you know this and that," and we would lie because we were like only in high school, but you know we would say that we were like twenty five and that we were in college, and that you know this semester was just so hard, and could they please like uh, send us money for books or whatever? Mm-hmm. And so we started like doing a little bit, a little bit, and then we started figuring out we could get like stuff. And so we started having it sent to my neighbor's house on purpose so that it would go to the neighbor's house and then the neighbor would be like, oh, this came in the mail. It says our address, but it's to you. So then we, me and my cousin would go over there and get the mail before oh. my mom could get the mail. Yeah. And for whatever reason, one day, one day my mom came home early and the neighbor came out, Dr. West, and he was like, oh, the the girls got mail again over at my house. <laughs> Busted you out. You my mom purpose. was like, my mom was like, oh, what? Mail again? She was like, 
and that was she, it. It yeah, was that was curtains. <laughs> we got home, all the all the letters was like, oh, here's two hundred dollars, here's this, here's that. All Damn. we were busted. We got in so much trouble. She was like, "What are you guys doing?" I'm like, "We we were like, we, okay, we weren't innocent because like we knew what we were doing, but like we weren't." We were just gaming them. Like, we just knew what to say. I already know. <laughs> it was like one of those moments, like, in Roger Rabbit. Like, I'm not bad. I'm just drawn this way. <laughs> I swear. I did something like that with the calling cards. Because they used to have the calling cards. Like, they used to be able to do all kinds of shit with them motherfuckers. <coughs> that was the shit. The party like were definitely dope until we got caught. <laughs> And they, well, <laughs> motherfuckers, that's all we have time for tonight, unfortunately. But I hope everybody tunes into next Monday's episode when I talk to this drag lady, drag queen, drag queen. Okay, that drag has princess. Is she drag princess or drag queen? Drag queen. Drag queen. That has surgery. She has surgery today, so I'm going with her tomorrow to. Um, sit with her as she heals up and she's going to give me the inside scoop on the procedures and what it feels like for those interested in it in the future or if you just wonder what a person like that has to go through I can't imagine but I'm going to find out tomorrow so definitely tune in to us next Monday same time midnight tonight we went live we was just raw and cut with this since we have both our doctors <laughs> that canceled on us so we do appreciate y'all tuning in again once again tonight Carly you got anything to say Carlucci Carlucci I just want to say peace and blessings everybody thank you guys so much for tuning in this evening wherever you are make sure that you clear your heart and your mind we'll get back at you guys next week wait wait, wait. LA anything to say uh, thank you for having me on the- Aww, you know you're always welcome to be on our show I enjoyed it it's fun blessings until next time Safe sex, sex and, and paychecks. Get that money. <laughs>